what better to go with football during football season with the Super Bowl coming up than, uh, than some great wings. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Tales from the Pit. I am Sonny's Pit Master, Shannon Snell. Nice to see everyone again. So what I got here is some raw wings, okay? Go to the store. Um, you'll normally get the wings as whole because they'll have the tips on them. They'll have the legs and the wings. Just cut them off in the sections. Right here, I, I pre-cut them off in the sections. So things that you're gonna need, all right? And you may have some of these things at home. So this is what makes this, re this recipe a little bit uh, very, very simple. I got some lime juice that I'm gonna pour in here. Now, it's super important that you marinate your wings because you want to give that, that extra pop of flavor. Um, it's, it's, it's super important that you marinate them um, for at least three to four hours, okay? Now, you don't want to go over 24 hours because 24 hours, you know, it, the, the rub, the, the marinade kind of overtakes it. So, um, at least three hours, no more than 24. All right, got some brown sugar, one of my favorite spices. Some garlic, you know I love my garlic. All right, super important because this, this is gonna be a wet marinade, okay? You want some olive oil, all right? Now you can use canola oil, you can use cottonseed, whatever oil that, that suits your fancy if you don't like olive, but I'm a big olive oil fan. All right, some garlic powder, a little bit of extra. All right, smoked paprika. You can use regular paprika, but to get that Sunny's, that, that smoke taste that you love when you go to your local Sunny's, use some smoked paprika, really, really good stuff. And you got some, and you got some, uh, ado some chipotle adobo sauce, okay? This is, be very, very careful with this, all right? It's a little bit spicy. All right, so if you don't like a whole lot of spice, use a little bit, don't use a lot. All right, mix it in. Mix it in really, really well. I'm gonna let this sit for at least, at least three and a half hours, okay? Just remember, three and a half hours minimum, all right? Do not go over 24 hours, or this is gonna be super overpowering, and you're not gonna like the taste. You're not gonna get that chicken taste, all right? Wings are on the smoker. Remember, they're smoking at 325 degrees. Um, they shouldn't take long, probably about 20, 25 minutes, so make sure you keep eye on them. And did you know, Sonny's offers a tier two menu. This is stuff that, that we don't do normally in the restaurant, but it's stuff that we offer on catering. Um, and, and, and one of those things I'm gonna show you here right now, buffalo chicken dip. Um, that's very simple, that's gonna, uh, as we talked about earlier, make you the pit master of your home. All right, so what you're gonna need, all right? Get yourself a, a cast iron skillet. You may have one around the house, but get yourself something that's, uh, that's um, oven safe or, or, or smoker safe. That's super important because all these ingredients, as we mix them together, they're gonna go in here, you're gonna smoke them, and you're gonna cook them in your oven, okay? First off, I got some sour cream here, right? Sour cream is amazing on potatoes. It's amazing on absolutely everything, but pulled chicken from Sunny's is really, really good, right? And also, by the way, we have pulled chicken. Go to your local Sunny's. Order pulled chicken, you can get it by the pound. I got two pounds of pulled chicken right here um, in this bowl that's gonna, that I'm gonna make my buffalo chicken dip with. I got some chopped up celery. One of the stars of the show, cream cheese, right? Cream cheese and sour cream, you see where I'm going with this. I got some shredded cheddar cheese. Some ranch dressing. Now feel free to use any kind of ranch dressing you want, okay? You can use store-bought, you can make your own if you have your own recipe, but ranch dressing is, is an important part of this. And just for a little bit of kick of flavor, get yourself some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Now you can use Louisiana, you can use any kind of hot sauce that's got a, you know, a good tang of vinegar in it, but make sure that you use as much as you want, all right, just to suit your taste. Bam, right in there. All right, we're gonna mix all this stuff together here. And this buffalo chicken dip, it just, you know, you want it nice and creamy because, and you wanna make sure that you mix it thoroughly all the way through because you want those flavors to kinda of cook down. You want that cheese to kinda of cook down as that heat gets in there. It's gonna kind of uh, migrate towards that chicken. Everything's gonna melt down. It's gonna be nice and creamy. You guys are gonna really enjoy it. Now you can do this in the oven. 325 degrees should be the natural temperature that you should go at. But if you have a smoker, like I have my Traeger here, or you can have a charcoal smoker or a grill at home. Stick it on there, 325 degrees. Should take about 25 minutes to get that done. All right, so done. Uh, everything finished. Uh, take a look at these wings, how golden they are. This is kind of a qualifier that your wings are getting close to done. Make sure that you temp them. They should be around 170, 175 degrees before you start eating them. Um, but they got a nice golden color. Get you, go to Sunny's Barbecue, any local Sunny's Barbecue, they're offering these takeout, these retail sauces. They're great to take home. They're great for 
a lot of your foods that you're gonna have. And of course, we got our buffalo chicken dip, which we did earlier. You see it melted down real nice. That cheese kind of spread through on that chicken and got yourself, I got myself some carrot sticks and celery. Probably not gonna eat those, but I'm gonna eat them with the chips because I'm a you know tortilla chip guy with my buffalo chicken dip. If you don't feel like cooking, if you don't feel like doing wings, if you don't feel like doing yourself an appetizer or making a whole game spread, come on in to Sunny's Barbecue and let us do it for you. So I'm gonna enjoy some of this myself. Uh, like I said, guys, it's nice seeing you again. Um, I'll see you again next time.